So I have my patient positioned and then I need to do the tactile debridement. So, you know, here I've got my mirror in one hand, which I typically just leave the mirror in this hand and I'll show you that in a minute. Pushing the soft tissue out, cleaning, doing my tactile debridement first so that I can remove plaque and um, some calculus and dilate the soft tissue and the pocketing. Um, then I'm going to position my patient more to the right. And what I do with the mirror is, say I'm holding the mirror, I just flip it down and I pick up the endoscope. Um, like this. So I have the endoscope in one hand and I also have the mirror in this hand too and I'm just basically holding on to it down here. Um, that way when I put the endoscope down I have the um, the mirror right there and I just flip it. Okay so our patient is positioned somewhat like that and I go to the distal palatal and look back in there come around to the mesial sometimes you have to point it down into the furcation there and clean the furcation moving to the distal palatal sometimes you have palatal pocketing if you don't have palatal pocketing sometimes if you get a little too toward the horizontal um, you're not going to be able to, the water's not going to pull and you, so your view will be better when you angle up because the water pulls more. Um, pulls real easily in pocketing, of course. Okay, looking into the frication. Sometimes you have to really push into a deep frication and move, twist the scope around and keep looking back and forth. Okay same thing looking in the mouth looking at the screen as you're feeling your way around and visually moving the camera using the screen to govern your movements but you're still kind of using your feel too you know okay and then if you know if there's some areas that you want to recheck here you can do that and then we're going to reposition things and go with the right right. So here we are in the, we're using the right right going to the distal um, of the molars working in this way or working in from the cross side going to the distal cleaning sometimes cross instrumenting going to the distal here. A lot of times you don't have to cross instrument here. Every once in a while though, if you just feel like, hey, you know, I need to look at it a different way, then you do that. You know, and those of you who are listening to this video and um, getting into this, you are definitely looking at it a different way. So I switch to the left explorer. Again, I need to, ch if I need to Reangle this, I just hold on to the insert and turn the handle. Get to the distal buckle. Sometimes you have to push the cheek out to get to the distal buckle. You're cleaning here into the furcation, and sometimes you have to angle up and into the mesial. Distal buckle, furcation area around the corner here angling up a little bit looking at the screen and moving around and cleaning you now sometimes you have to twist this thing the camera to really get in there or you know and sometimes you just you might want to cross instrument over here every I don't know don't do that very often though okay I get near the front here and I can a lot of times tilt the patient a little more 
it's not exactly like I'm looking at it because um, I'm a lot further away um, my focal length with with loops is a lot further than the focal length of this microscope okay now I've switched to the left left and I'm going to go in and a lot of times because I'm right handed and I'm sitting at the right hand of the patient this is easier for me than the, than sorry, excuse me than trying to do cross instrumenting from from the angle that I'm sitting at from 11 o'clock sorry there's a piece of thread on there okay so I'm getting into the distal cleaning cleaning here cleaning here cleaning here wherever I think I've missed and then also again you know if you don't feel like you've got certain spots on the distal then you have to switch to the curved instrument so in review on the upper I start out on the upper left I tactilely debride two sextants and then I scope the breed starting from the palatal, distal palatal, going over to as far as tooth number six, um, using two explorers and one uh, ultrasonic instrument primarily, and sometimes the curved ones. Then I'll go around to the buckle or the facial and um, instrument there with the straight one, and then the bent one or the right right. Um, go over back over to the right side tactile debris scope debris and um, the next video you should watch or if you haven't watched it already is the lower debridement I then go to the lower and whatever surgery I do whatever procedures I do I don't know I've got this thing I go from the upper left to the upper right the lower left to the lower right and that's actually um, Positioning wise and moving me and moving the patient, it just seems to be more efficient for me as a right-handed provider.